And I wondered what you feel the most important qualities are in being an analyst, in becoming and continuing to be an analyst. You have a sense for the truth. And you have a real sense for the truth in relation to yourself. And be prepared to know or to try to find out what's going on and how things are hitting you. Because only that is going to enable you really to face what's going on in other people. You have to know yourself, don't you? And we can never really know ourselves enough, I think. It's psychoanalytic intuition. It certainly can increase and be trained, because intuition is also based on experience that things come to you more easily, but also that is, I think, some, whether due to early experiences or to other things, some luck, so you could have more or less. It's something about imagination, something about an ability to move one's mind in different directions. Mm. I suppose for the qualities to be the analyst, I would include one of capacity to have and to understand passion. Mm. We wouldn't be able to be objective and truthful to ourselves in analysis and able to maintain uh, the proper setting against all the pressure if deep down we didn't have a very passionate commitment mm -hmm. because there are so many ways of doing it which are easier, quicker, leading to wealth, mm -hmm. and take some passion to, to stick with it. Mm -hmm. Well, Bion once said, if you've got no stomach for anxiety, he told us seven and a half hours, you're in the wrong profession. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's something standing anxiety. Analytic work where you can't see, you can't touch, you can't prove, and you're constantly working with the uncertainty of, and the difficulty of, in fact, still having doubts yourself. Mm -hmm. Allowing yourself to have doubts. Mm -hmm. More listening and less interpretation yes. until it really feels that the patient is nearly there themselves. Right. And then I wait a little longer in case they're going to say it themselves mm -hmm. explicitly. Mm -hmm. and, but if they don't, then they're just mm -hmm. nearly there then. <laughs> because then they can hear it. Mm -hmm. And if it's too soon, nobody can hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A certain confidence. A confidence both in oneself, but also confidence in analysis. You need a lot of courage because so often I'm doing so many supervision now, the analyst almost knows what goes on, but it would upset the patient or this or that. So that's a very important quality. What I'm interested in is not just the words, but why the patient is talking in that way to me at that time, and whether that won't be indicative of the way we can help him most. You see. And I think that is what has been developed rather well here, and always when uh, one does seminars or lectures abroad, you can see how important the awareness is that the, for abroad that we've got something about this, about following stuff in detail and recognising the importance of the relationship between analyst and patient. And I notice again and again people comment on this and mm -hmm. some, that's I think why we become popular with people coming from abroad yes. because people have to feel that's something which you can get hold of. This is not theoretical. Mm. That you, you can feel and smell and hear, as you like. And it's very important. I think it's a, it's a very serious training, and you have really to work hard. Yeah. But uh, it is broad, it is uh, thorough, and uh, the whole 
climate at the Institute of Psychoanalysis is a, is a dedicated, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a group of dedicated people. Uh, yeah, of course it's not perfect and there is uh, still quite some tension, mm -hmm. but uh, life doesn't go without tension. So <laughs> mm -hmm. Working on it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I think there is much more honesty now in a way that people also can know much more from each other. I think there is more possibility to to to. I mean, with bias, I'm sure when I speak about Kleinian ideas or some Kleinian speak about us, it's all a bit of a fantasy. Mm -hmm. What we think about the middle group when you are not the middle is also always a bit of a fantasy. But um, on the whole, there is a, a rapprochement and a desire to, to talk with one another. And I feel I've learned a great deal from the other two groups. How do you see the future of psychoanalysis in, in the UK? Speak of the world in the UK. The world, yeah. no. no, no, I mean it's not only in the UK, future mm -hmm. of analysis mm -hmm. in the world. <coughs> well, I have a rather pessimistic view, but that's pretty well, because in old age, people become more pessimistic. They know they're going to die, so they think the world is going to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and one has to be aware of that. But actually, I think in our culture, it's so anti-mind, mm -hmm. a violent attack on the mind. Yes because our minds may not go along with the policies of the rich and mighty and imperialistic ones. So there's everywhere an attack on the mind. Everything will be changed into figures, numbers, and the whole, I think, analytical ethos is, uh, is very much in danger. And the demand on us is if we want to be included in the psychiatric world, we have to uh, prove, you know, and we have to use the sort of um, methods that are used in science in general, which shouldn't happen to be applicable. We can't do that. We haven't got the microscope. We've got an analytic session. Mm -hmm. And we have our, you know, we have our own psyche, our own mind, to, in order to make the observations. So it's all subjective and it's all relative. And we're into uncertainty principle and relativity theory in, if we, use our methods and the demand on us is to prove mm -hmm. in ways that mm -hmm. so I don't think we'll ever satisfy that demand mm -hmm. and um, the minute people do I, th I think they're on from our point of view shaky ground mm -hmm. that um, they're leaving out essential bits so much anti-analysis now that one does have to deal both with that um, and the difficulties with patients. And it is, I think, a bit of a fighting moment for psychoanalysis, mm -hmm. really. Uh, but, you know, the pendulum swings mm -hmm. and now it's all quick fix, CBT, give us a manual, yes. and that's just the way you can't do psychotherapeutic work that will have a long-term mm. effect. Mm -hmm. There is something so fundamentally right about analysis, whatever it goes this way or that way, that you can't destroy it. It's kind of indestructible.